been, been, I didn't train Ben for the whole training. So I can't act like I was in the jail with I-9, all the way to I just told him one thing. I said, Ben, he got his hands wrapped up. I'm telling you, he's going to try to crack it. The stuff we work on, which I'm not going to tell, I'm going to use the same shit I told Ben to do. But I gave him something specific to do defensively. Had he done that, that punch would have never made it to his chin. So he has some boxing, he has some power. And then one thing about combat sports, you look at John Jones, you look at all these different people that are the great stuff, they don't hesitate. They don't think. They, you show, when I show you a low single, you just do it. You don't have that hesitation back. So he's a fighter. He's going to go through all his punches. He don't have nothing. To do. He's trying to downplay. Don't let him play y'all. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a DC guy. Last week he was a fighter. When he was turning up in the club with the celebrity, he was a fighter. When he was saying nobody wanted to fight you, he was a fighter. Keep that in you. You're not a fighter. You're not a YouTuber. You're not a Disney. How long has it been since you've been on Disney? Long time. So we're gonna claim that? No, I can say I'm a collegiate wrestler, that's it. I'm just a collegiate wrestler, I don't punch. Much. That's how far he's taking back his resume. Right? He's done a lot of shit in between. So besides, like I, besides this fight coming up, what is your aim for your career in the future? I just wanna have fun. I wanna train hard. I wanna get better. I wanna have fun. I wanna do things on my team. I wanna be the one to call the shot. And I wanna go out there and make, make history. I always make history. I may not always get the credit for it, but I'm always the first one to do this. The first one to do that. What should I do? What about this? What is it? All the time. So now it's time for me to go do it for myself. Right. Are you going to train down here, Tyron, for, the, for this fight, or are you just doing it? You know it what? I came here. out here, obviously, for this, for the shenanigans with this, but it's, it's a gym out here in Miami that I want to give a try. Um, there's a couple other gyms I want to give a try, and the next two weeks I'll have a permanent place. I don't want to bounce around. I want to get some work, put my feet in the ground, and kind of say things. So, what's your favorite, second favorite color? Second favorite color, black. 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 What's your first? Did he actually accepted the fight? So when you got the call for it, how, how did that work out? I was surprised at the fact that on paper it's, it's, a, um, it's a suicide attempt, but knowing him, he's just crazy enough to do it. And that's why it's serious for me. It's always going to be serious. Why would I get my body training and then only go half ass? I'm going ham. But he's a fighter that wants to fight. He's crazy enough to get hit and try to come back. And to him, especially when you go into a situation, I've been there before. We ain't got nothing to lose. When I fought right below, I got nothing to lose. I, been, I was out for 18 months. Nobody expected me to get it, right? But I went out when I took it to him. Very similar to what you've been seeing him do. You've seen somebody body drop. And then I'm only like white on rice. If you think I've lost that, you fool yourself. If you think that I can't get hard, I don't have the IQ, and I'm not sharp, and I'm not still there, everybody's going to have a rude awakening. How much better is it being in the gym? Doing something new, like for a new sport. And I love boxing. I've all, like I said, I've always wanted to box. I never, I never really got the chance. So my mom thought it was too, um, too crazy of a sport, even though I was street fighting anyway. But um, when I got 23 and when I graduated college, I was like, man, I'm too old to start boxing now. So then MMA, MMA was a side piece. I always wanted to box. I got into MMA because I was a wrestling coach. And I coached so many people, and I was in such good shape. I'm like, fuck, I'm sparring every day. I might as well try this fight then. I was a world champion or something like try. This is something I wanted to do. Put that in, put that in perspective. Is this all, outside of the UFC organization, you know, they put, they take you from A to B. You do this, you do that. I ain't got no mask. It's Florida. Damn. Yeah, I've been tested. Yeah, vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> is this something, I gotta make it to the ring. Is this something new and exciting for you outside of the fight itself? Just it's like fun, the, it's fun. you know, come on, it's, it's like fun. so I'm different. I'm still training MMA, so I'm gonna I'm train boxing. It's a switch. Boxing was a supplement to MMA. Yeah. Now MMA is gonna be a supplement to boxing. So I'm not gonna lose my you know wrestling, jujitsu, my like kicking and stuff. I'm gonna do that as cardio and conditioning, as like an auxiliary workout. But boxing is gonna be my focus for the next couple fights. Well, I don't want to get into your pay scale like compared to your UFC fights, but do you think it says a lot that you can leave the UFC? And walk into a bigger money fight than you've had in most of your championship reign. Opportunity. It's a different, it's a different scenario, different opportunity. I'm not gonna shit on the UFC, guys. I, I made millions of dollars with them. I was a five-time world champion. Me and Dana Butt had a couple times, but it was some shit I did too that I could have. Did he hit you up, by the way? He hit up Ben. Um, I don't know if he hit. 
Yeah. Has he hit me up? Yeah, Dan. Oh, he has, I ain't talking to him. Yeah. No, you don't think he's going to give you free Freddie Wright classes like he gave Ben? I, I mean, I've been at Wild Card. I've been at Wild Card boxing since 2008. I'm no, I know Freddie. I talk. I talk to Freddie ever, but I, but I trained with Eric Brown. That was my main trainer. So I haven't trained with Freddie, but we talk boxing. We talk for years. Did you, some, years plus. did you have some of them uh, mixed martial arts community that has reached out to you? Because it feels like everybody. You got the whole. Everybody. The whole, yeah. the whole crew is behind you. Every, you know what's crew. funny? A lot of MMA people haven't reached out to me. A lot of boxers. Have what boxers? My boxers? homie uh, Peter Quillen reached out. Okay. When I first was up yeah. and coming. I used to spar Peter. Like people, I haven't just started boxing. I used to spar Peter back in 2009, 2010. Mm. So he hit me up today and say, "You a champ? Your resume speaks for itself. Don't take this dude lightly. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna give you the technical information." He said, but he said, when you need me, I'm there. Call me, I'll come slide on. What, what, what do you think? Andre Ward hit me up. We do some training. What did Andre say? Ward said, Ward said, let's get it in. I've been wanting to train with Ward for a long time. We've been talking about it, but like I said, everything is timing. Now it's time. Now I get to take advantage of all the relationships. Floyd, 